Dipta Sanjay Bandhapadhyay, or you can say Professor Pandit Sanjay Bandhapadhyay. Actually, we did Pandit by the government of India through my top grade in Alinda Radio. And Professor, because of my university placements in two different universities, uh, one is Rabindranath University, where I served as a chair professor, Ustad Alauddin Khan chair, for many years. Then after that, I was offered the professor's position by the Central University of Sikkim, and there I stayed for four years. So that is academic uh, placements, direct academic placements, and I visited the uh, top universities uh, of the world, mostly in the US. So there I was uh, given the position of visiting professorship or artist in residence, for example, in the, US, uh, in the University of Chicago or of, uh, at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign and University of Michigan and other, many other places. So, and I had been to uh, Europe too, also African countries uh, and uh, Asian countries. I performed very big concerts also as a sitar player because my positioning in the university system is as an outstanding musician. So I, I performed, I had the opportunity to perform before six to 18,000 audiences. Uh, so that's a huge audience and this was an experience. And uh, uh, I have students who are, uh, those are highly acclaimed and some of them are taken as the top gun in, in, in their own fields, like, like Kushal Das, who's a sitar player, or Raj Rupa, who performed for Prince Charles or Modiji, or Troili Dutta, who also performed for Modiji, also my PhD scholar and, and my son of student. Raj Rupa is my sita student, and these people are uh, performing all over the world, and they are very acclaimed, and there are other students who are otherwise uh, 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 they are excellent um, musicians and very nicely placed in, in other areas for Ayush Koch who is in Calgary right now, uh, he is in the US and uh, uh, trained in NASA and all. So this kind of, and we have students, those are, those just several international awards in film industries. So this is in short about me that I have uh, Attacked. I, I have. I try to understand music or took a role as a sitar player, as a musician, as a guru, as a teacher, as a research guide and researcher. So that is in short about me. So you asked about the positioning of Hindustan raga music in the industry, or position of Hindustan rock music as industry. So, there are two, three points. One is, uh, what is, when, uh, how you position the industry? If it is, uh, for example, uh, this uh, flourishing, I want to say flourishing, this established Bollywood industry. Bollywood industry has limited uses, but, but uh, and the background may be Indian classical music or raga music is, is, is playing a big role because uh, our music system follow the raga music is a major part of this and uh, Indian music as an industry or Indian raga music as an industry doesn't go much because there are only a few musicians uh, those are very nicely placed and, and uh, generating, you know, whatever say, but I mean, good placement in the people's mind. But the, the number is so few when <coughs> India is so big, and we have a uh, huge number of, I mean, able performers, in raga music performers. So uh, these people, this these people, unfortunately, that because the lower number of people are getting positioned as a popular musician in raga music and when there are more there's a disparity between the demand and supply situation and secondly uh, an idea that uh, this percolating idea that a uh, level of performance uh, is a plays a key role for uh, placement as musician uh, may not be true because 
successful as a musician is getting being a musician successful is is a different play and there are lots of other uh, components and issues involved so i don't think right now uh, there's a huge scope of improvement of the placement of in uh, hindustan raga music in the in the as as an industry or in the available industry mm. uh, i understand that hindustan raga music has tremendous scope for improving is uh, audience periphery and users firstly music itself uh, is a billion dollar industry but mostly you know that is a major part is of course assist the film uh, but taking everything into consideration this has huge scope music as it is so what raga music performers required to look at that that optimization of of the music presentations now right now we are talking about only music performance there can be many other usages of of raga music and, and applications but right now we are talking about the music performances so think about cricket cricket there is a time when the cricket playing uh, was faced a big challenge because all the spectators uh, number started to getting very very low so they changed test cricket to uh, one day cricket like that in 2020 and now if you look at the uh, your television set you will see that when the cricket is going on ipl and this and that that crowds of people are involved and they are they are looking at that they are enjoying cricket So how they did it? They, they optimized. They didn't kill the cricket, but they optimized the cricket presentation from five day to one day like that. So also, I believe that, uh, rather, I I trust that raga music can do similar kind of thing. They can consider of optimization, optimizing their their uh, how they present the music. so what is optimization what kind of optimization is very simple why raga music is not getting uh accepting for of course top stars not getting appropriate audiences even even if you take the top star if you compare them them with with pop stars then you will see that they are not getting that kind of audience so optimization is necessary and and i and if, if that is tried then you can see because i am trying a small project and that is you know giving a very good result and i could statistically establish that it is worth so optimization is this raga music or any music has two kind of components one is culture specific component this is true for any music even in pop music because for a person like me i don't love pop music even i don't love bollywood music as maybe most of the people love because i am focused to my own music raga music i li- like that most so even even for such popular music there are cultural specific components because i am biased kind of biased person that i only love raga music similarly raga music has very very strong cultural specific components and there are also universal components of music that is the components those are present in all music or most of the music so if the presenters the performers they look at that and balance one thing is let me talk about one at this optimization for, uh, uh, chances the chance of optimization or uh, area optimization is duration optimization a raga music performance can go for 90 minutes one rag or 60 minutes or 30 minutes in radio 28 but if you take the popular music they are none of them are going most of them are not going beyond 7 minutes they are, they are between 3 and 7 minutes so uh, and the mental setup of the mass the listening public is you know they can't take that much of detailed music so this is one area of this and the second is there are three for three for three or four areas but all types of music are using that is the experience that you get in everyday life 
that is one is intensity variations or we call it in, in music dynamics that either, either you shout when you are angry or you talk very softly when you, you are in, in an intimate situation so for example when I'm talking I am giving I am using different types of sound level correct so sound level and that is making impact and we are not robotic going robotic so this is one element that is universal everyone uh, uh, in, in on the art they are they are I mean if they are good, not deaf you know they can <coughs> listen to sound they use this intensity variation all the time second is uh, speed variations they do they, they move at different speeds when you are you are in urgency you move faster when you are in leisurely mode you you, you you are going slower so you have have the experience of speed component these are the two very important components in, in addition to the uh, time optimization duration optimization the other two and third component is the use of silence that is so that made an impact right the use of silence so giving the space for the brain to accept so silence is another point and another parameters or other component that can be used very intelligently these are these are the audio parameters then again there are visual parameters because music is no more only audio music is audio and video at least at least these two different paradigms so video that is a, a long discussion video also takes a important role but right now I shall only you know restrict my uh, description on audio part of it so <clears throat> if you uh, uh, insert or add universal element universal components in your musical performances then there's a chance that you, you will able to reach wider the wider people, wider periphery of audience. Then I said the different uses of uh, this is performance. Then you see that I, in uh, this NEP has come, new ed education policy that has involved in you know, our culture, traditional culture. So that has opened up. Uh, that will require a huge number of teachers. Those will teach at different uh, academic uh, levels. So. <clears throat> huge uh, opening will be there for the students those are pursuing with music so this is another idea and third is when you, you become really good I mean really you know that how to communicate with people as I told told that earlier that to get accepted you require to uh, have declared must possess different qualities so that you become accepted it's no, not only the music so the additional quality is how you uh, do the networking and how do you use the media, how do you use uh, the other tools like internet and other things. Uh, and if you know it properly, you know how to uh, use the public distribution, this very strong distribution system like YouTube and uh, whatever, there are many, many platforms. So how you can use that, if you learn that and you only uh, push the productions that are really done well because we have good telephones phones can do wonders but in addition to that you, you can use some simple gadgets that can give you really good production so good production is important and how you use the money you have to learn photography videography a uh, little bit of audio engineering everything you know then the distribution public distribution and, and networking if you can if, if you do that and if you also sing well or play well then there's chances that you widen the periphery of, of raga music that's all for now for today but there are a lot of things to be discussed thank you very much